Covering news events like the uh, typhoon in the Philippines can be very, very difficult for all journalists. But as Ted Chen tells us now, it's especially challenging for those who have a personal connection, those who have family there. It's very unsettling. Journalist Edith Montalibano first lost touch with her brother Carlito. He lives in a small town just 10 miles from Tacloba, the Philippine city devastated by the typhoon. Then she lost touch with her brother Jess, who went to find Carlito. To know that you have one brother trying to cross over to get to the other brother, and the other brother not able to respond by text when he usually does. Local news here. That kind of anxiety has made this a tough story to cover for the staff at Glendale-based Balita Media, which puts out two newspapers a week to L.A.'s Filipino community. Editor Ronnie Ligo says they've been busy offering free ads for fundraisers and letting readers know where they can donate. We're trying to uh, raise funds for the last um, typhoon, and then there was an earthquake, and now here it comes again. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Arnold it's a lot to handle and for the young host at Pasadena-based hey, Full Am TV, a digital channel Asian focusing American on Filipino culture and history that started only a year ago. Well, the channel is planning a webathon to raise to money and a cargo drive to gather supplies and ship them to the hardest-hit areas. I think most importantly, too, is not just donating money, but really their time, their, their resources, these non-perishable items that will benefit the people. And if you could imagine if your house was burning and you knew your family was in it, you know, what would you do? Local so journalists was, both covering a disaster and worrying about their families. Edith Montalibano says the typhoon not only destroyed most of her brother's town, but also set free its prisoners. There are prisoners that are all over the place, uh, and you don't know what that means. Ted Chen, NBC4 News.